we pretty much ask everyone who hops on about their favorite moments from the season. Maybe individual or as like I got mine easily. The goal line stop against Texas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's my like favorite. a legendary all, play all four plays. Game. Literally all four plays is my favorite moment of this whole season. Like I could go back and watch that every single day. Like yeah, Kip on that. Billy on that, Danny, me too. Like it was like, that was, that was, that I think was that's tough. really what defined our defense was mm -hmm. those four plays. <laughs> Just looks unstoppable. What's up, Red Dirt fam? We have some very exciting news for y'all. February 17th, Red Dirt Media will be hosting a special event at Noun Hotel. It will be me and Nick accompanied by 10 or so of our teammates. There's going to be dinner, drinks, player interactions, interviews. It's going to start at 6 p.m. and all the tickets are limited, so make sure you go check it out. Boomer. As promised, we did drop some new merch. You know, we got some new shirt designs, some new hat designs as well. But before I talk about that, let's talk about this college football team. If you love then you should get this shirt because you know that I play and I also love. So you should really check out this shirt. But in all seriousness, we also have some new Red Dirt merch. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and click the link below. You know, follow that link and it'll take you to our store. You can find our merch there. And if you want to, we have a promo code Red Dirt 15. 15% off at checkout if you use that code. It really helps our pod, and not only the pod, it helps our NIL cause as well. Like he said, Red Dirt 15 to get 15% off. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome back, Red Dirt fam. Back again with another episode right after the Chiefs game. As you can clearly see, we got one of the biggest <laughs> Chiefs fans on the team. The biggest Chiefs fan Desan on the team. Desan McCullough. <laughs> AKA Slim Reaper. Go ahead and introduce yourself. You know, where are you from? How you got into football? Just whatever you want to get, whatever you want to tell the fans. I'm Desan McCullough. I play linebacker here at Oklahoma. I transferred here from Indiana. I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. That's mm. where I was born. Mm. Then I moved to Indiana when I was around 10 or 11 years old. Then I moved to Los Angeles, actually for a um, majority of middle school. So all the middle school, I was in Los Angeles. Then I moved to Kansas City. Dang. And that's where I was for a majority of high school was Kansas City. So and then we went back to. to Indiana for my senior year, stayed there, and then I transferred here. So it's kind of been like a long, mm. long process of mm -hmm. moving. So really, you can't even claim the Chiefs. Oh, I can definitely claim the Chiefs. Don't do that. Don't do that. You originated in Cincinnati. But that's cool, though. But <laughs> every year I was in Kansas City, we, we at least went to the AFC Championship. We went to the Super Bowl twice. So if they wasn't doing good while using Kansas City, would you be a fan? <laughs> Those are hypotheticals. <laughs> we don't base off of hypotheticals. What's wrong with the Bengals though, bro? I like the Bengals too. When the Bengals and Chiefs played last year, I was voting for whoever won. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So okay. I, I was fair game. <laughs> where'd you uh, Where'd you cut that, uh, the, the, that jacket from? This jacket? Yeah. Oh, I got this at the Super Bowl. Um, when we played the uh, oh, 49ers. I didn't even notice that wasn't like this Super Bowls. Yeah, so this is when we yeah. played the 49ers. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I got it after that. I got a little trench coat action going on. <laughs> Had to pop like, it back like, out. I haven't worn it since. I have, fun fact, I have not even tried it on since like that Super Bowl. <laughs> So I had, to go, I had to do some deep digging for this real you to, quick. You had to dig into the closet, bring that out for the win. I definitely said I was going to pull up with it. <laughs> How'd you, 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 you were just on the field or like? Uh, yeah. You got VIP like, access type? Yeah, before the game, <laughs> uh, obviously with my dad coaching and stuff, like I was like uh, on the sideline and stuff like that before the game. We had good seats during the game, but really the whole experience of the, like that bowl game was, or not bowl game, Super Bowl, my bad, <laughs> <laughs> was like crazy because it isn't anything like a bowl game. Like how we would like, you know how we get there like a week before or something like that. They yeah. got there just like a couple days before. Like it wasn't mm, even a Super Bowl. Like it wasn't a long Dang. process for them. That's crazy. It is crazy, bro. What uh? So your dad, your dad's in the coaching. How long he been he been coaching? Since I've been like eleven years old. So as long as I can remember, it's been a minute. Before that, he was a high school principal. So he made a jump mm. from yeah from from principal from principal to uh. He was a high school. He was a high school head coach then too. Then he went to Miami to be kind of like a GA, and then he got his first actual um, coaching job as a running back coach at Indiana. So that's mm -hmm. where it started. That's crazy. And that's so, that was your first school, right? Yeah. Where you transferred from? Mm -hmm. You like Indiana? 
Uh, I do. I love Indiana. I still love the city, the people, everything like that. You know, just uh, some unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he kind of, would you say he was kind of a, he was pushing you to go to Indiana or that was kind of your own decision? Uh, it was definitely my decision. Um, it was influenced by uh, my dad had a job there. My older brother transferred there. And uh, my younger brother, Day, um, committed there. So it was everybody oh, there. And then it was me committed to Ohio State. So that's when I decided to flip. Like I didn't even know I, you were committed to Ohio State. I was committed to Ohio State for majority <laughs> of high school. Uh, after my freshman year, like beginning of sophomore year, I committed to Ohio State. And I didn't decommit till I flipped to Indiana, like when it got near like senior year and all that. I didn't even know you had an older brother. Yep, I had an older brother. He was a, a DB. He was at Miami of Ohio, uh, then he transferred to Indiana. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Is he still playing now? No, he's not playing anymore. Okay. Not playing anymore. Just got done last year. Last that's year. What's up. Yep. That's what's up. Dang. How is it having a, 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 a coach for a dad? Like, do you ever like feel like his coaching style goes into his parenting <laughs> a little bit? Uh, definitely. Like, <laughs> I feel like in a good way, though, because yeah. anytime I talk to any of the players that coach him, any of his running backs, they all love him. Like, mm -hmm. he's like really like a cool dude, laid back. Like family guy, like, like yeah, like all, all the players like him. He's relatable. He knows what it's like to be, you know, in, in those players, like in their shoes. So yeah. he's just, he's a real relatable guy. So, I, I mean, I, he never, when it came to like parenting with us, he was always like dad and coach kind of like put together. Like, and that's mm -hmm. just kind of how his parenting was. So Best of both worlds. Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, we, we all loved it. I feel you, yeah. I feel you. What was kind of like that, that transfer process like? Because I'm sure, you know, you're one of the, most highly touted like people in the portal. So who who was kind of hit you up and pulling you whichever whichever way? Yeah, it was crazy when I entered the portal because you know when you first enter, you almost think it's gonna be like high school again, and you gotta get to relax and see your options and stuff like that. But it's really like on the spot. Like when you enter the portal, you don't have long at all. You really have till that day closes, and you want to be committed and signed and everything to the school before that. So you really have like two and a half weeks, really. Mm -hmm. Or at least I did in my in, in the position I was in. Yeah. So when I first entered the portal, uh, like schools that were coming at me really hard were like Michigan, um, obviously Oklahoma and Coach V and Tennessee also. So it was really between those three. And I'd just say really my relationship with Coach V kind of just like went over uh, the other three schools kind of mm -hmm. heavily. I'd yeah, say. that's crazy. I can't imagine having a whole like recruiting process just jam packed into two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't the visits and all that. Like you just can't even do yeah. it. So did you take visits to anywhere? This like, was my first visit. When I took my visit here, I really liked it. Uh, my younger brother really liked it too. We committed uh, at the same time. Mm. Oh, I do. I do remember seeing that. Actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Too. Yeah, we committed together. <laughs> like the brothers committed. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was it was dope. It was definitely dope. Because how long is the like transfer portal window open? So I know there's like multiple now. It's like yeah, there's multiple now, but I think it's open like maybe it's. I think this last time was open for like a month mm. or maybe three weeks or a month. Not it wasn't it wasn't super long, but it's starting to like change up a little bit because coaches are getting fired. So yeah, and then like Michigan like right now is thirty days. Like anyone could transfer if you go to Michigan. Oh, I yeah. forgot who, Harbaugh. Who said something about that? Mm -hmm. I think it was Kobe who said something. Yeah. That's kind of crazy how, like, anyone who gets fired or leaves. Literally. 30 eight, days. That's 30 days. Get. And, I mean, shoot, that's terrible for the next coach coming in there. Nah, but, for yeah. real. What do you yeah. think about that Harbaugh situation? You think, you think it's going to hurt, benefit, not affect Michigan as much? Like him leaving? <laughs> yeah. I think it'll affect him. I think he was, I, I think everyone loved like Harbaugh. Like I could kind of tell when he uh got suspended. Like yeah. every player wearing a free Harbaugh. I mean, <laughs> I, it was crazy. That was I, yeah, I mean, it was, it was hard, bro. I'm like, dang, like you could tell they loved him, but I think they did the right move with they with their next head coach. I I think so. I mean, yeah. keeping an in-house guy, kind of a guy that knows the system, stuff yeah. like that. That's what I think. Oh, that should be good. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I I like when they uh like when programs hire coaches that have already been there. Yeah, I agree. Especially yeah. when it's like a good team, like might as well just keep the same culture. Yeah, yeah. Keep it keep it in house. I agree. That's why, yeah, that's why the the Latrell and Finley yeah. Finley hire I was hyped about because yeah, I was it's like, not, you gotta like learn a completely different scheme and like meet someone new and exactly. figure out how you bond with them and stuff like that. So, exactly. Even with the uh, defensive coordinator, I mean, he's always been around V anyways, so yeah. he's really like a, like a little mini me. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> he is like a little mini V. 
I agree. Yeah. What um, I'm not gonna say I was rooting against the Chiefs. Nah, <laughs> I am were. gonna say you were. Everyone was. I am gonna say you I were was. all rooting it's against. Not the even Chiefs. That, it's not even that I was you rooting all for rooting against us. <laughs> it's not even that I was rooting for Lamar. I just I don't like seeing like teams just like constantly in the Super Bowl or in the like semis like But he's 25 doing it. 24, 25, however old he is. No, I, I'll young. give respect where respect's due. Like they uh, Pat Pat doing his thing for sure. I don't like Pat Mahomes. Why? Why? He from your I don't like from Pat Texas, Mahomes. Texas guy. I don't like Pat <laughs> Mahomes. No, you don't like bro. Pat Mahomes. This is something about him, bro. And what if that's your next QB? And 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 he you was, could be saying that. What and, if that's your next QB? And and, and that's and. a fact. Listen. <laughs> Imagine you gonna pull this back the up? The draft, the draft day. Explain this. Listen, Nick Let Anderson explain. confirmed. Doesn't Can like I explain? Nick Anderson does not want Patrick Mahomes as his quarterback. Breaking Nick for news. the record, confirmed. For the record, hates for, Pat the record. Mahomes. for the record, for the Breaking record. News. If it comes down to it, I'm willing to play with this man. But we have not. We did not start off on a good foot uh, because he played at Tech mm. when my brother was at OU. Mm. And they had a couple of games mm. back and forth. And I just didn't like the way he was playing. <laughs> I didn't like the way he was. I didn't like the way he was. The nah, way he I didn't like watching you. him play. I wanted him to lose. Did they beat us or we won? We won. It was, uh, the, it was the game where... Um, oh, that was like the... Like, we're baking him went crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, they both had like 500 yards or yeah, something like they that. Both, both teams had like yeah. 60, 50 points. It was crazy. I crazy. do remember that. But, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I was definitely rooting against against the Chiefs. I want I wanted Lamar to win, and I, was, I wanted to silence the Lamar haters, bro. I still think they're silent though. Like he still made it to the AFC Championship game. Nah, like, it's just the just the fact that he folded so hard. I mean, like, he was like not in the same division good. as the Chiefs. Like it really does. Uh, he was not playing good. <laughs> at I wish all. he could be on the other side. I want to see him in the Super Bowl too. <laughs> I wish he could play a different team. I wish it didn't have to be the Chiefs. Bro, bro. I, I vote just for him to be playing against like the 40, 30 piece in the Super Bowl. By who? Ooh, 30 piece. By who? The 49ers already tried you know that. Talking. I'm not gonna lie. The 49ers already tried that. I'm actually wearing that one right here. <laughs> I got that one right here. And if the Lions somehow get to it, if the Lions somehow get to it, uh, they won't know what's coming. <laughs> Andy Reid has too much experience in them Super Bowls. I don't know, man. I think, so the, I, think, I think the Lions going to bite off some kneecaps on their way up. You know what I mean? Get knocked <laughs> yeah. down, bite a couple. <laughs> bite a couple. Bite <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. So you're saying it's going to be a, a Chiefs 49ers rematch? Is that what you saying? I can see it. I can see the Chiefs 49ers rematch. It's hard to beat a team twice. It's hard to beat a team twice, but it is the Chiefs. <laughs> oh my God. It's hard to beat the Chiefs, period. So, I, I mean, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Going back on the uh, Mahomes subject, what, what quarterback do you think you would – most enjoy playing for mm. in the league? That's a good question. Or who, not most enjoy. What quarterback do you think would fit your play style the most? It's a harder question. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mason Rudolph. <laughs> Mason Rudolph. Get that. Get that off me. <laughs> nah, I see there's... We suck, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't even got to tell you. He's not knows. talking about the Steelers. But if I had to choose, I like Stroud, bro. That's a good oh, I, like young guy. NSA, I like that. And it's you, Houston. You just love H Town. I like Houston. Houston. But I'm, nah, Stroud is also a very good quarterback. Yeah, I like that. And I like his style. That's a good pick. But uh, <laughs> talking about this season, obviously, you're a big role. Um, I want to rewind to the first game. Uh, you you suffered an injury that game, right? Yeah, like in the first five <laughs> minutes, of, like in the first five minutes of the game, I got a high ankle sprain. It actually looked really bad. Like no, they thought, it looked horrible. Yeah, I, I thought like, it was a lot worse. They took me like straight to get an X ray. I feel like bro, ankles always just bro, be. I saw it on the jumbotron. I was like, oh, he's out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it like didn't look like they didn't think bad. it was my ankle. They didn't think it was my ankle. Oh. They thought it was my knee because of the way it looked. But um, yeah, so I got in. On the very first third down of the game, and mm -hmm. I got a PBU on my very first play. So, boom, we got off the stance, field. Look, look. Yeah, hands hands behind <laughs> the back. Stood there. Then the next series <laughs> came. It was my series to go out there and start. Mm -hmm. And the very first play of the series, I went to go set an edge. Mm -hmm. And my great friend Danny Stutzman went to go <sighs> tackle somebody and rolled over my leg and sent me out for about three weeks. Yeah, I'm but, not going to lie. Yeah. 
I that's one of my biggest fears getting rolled up on. Like every time I'm blocking and like the yeah, play is going on, shopping, yeah. Bro. Every time the play is going on <laughs> behind me, I'm like, let me, let me, let me try to drive this dude when away from the box. Yeah, it's crazy because there's so oh, much yeah, going on. Yeah, the there's box, so much like, going on. But how did you feel like your role changed when you when you got injured? Do you feel like you stepped into more like a leadership role and like a mentor role for these like younger guys that had to fill in? Definitely, because when I went down, um, that was like both of the cheetahs we worked like all off season. Yeah. Justin mm -hmm. was down, and now mm -hmm. I was down. So Peyton was kind of uh, next up at Cheetah. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I was giving him advice on what I saw and things we do at Cheetah and really just helping him learn the position in general because, yeah. you know, he was just jumped into it for those couple of weeks. So I feel like I grew into that role. And as the season kind of went on, I just grew into more of a leadership role, more of a like earning, earning trust type, you know, whether it be in my first year here, just earning more trust throughout the season to really be out there playing my game. Yeah, facts. So if you, definitely when you came back, still had that same like leadership mentality. Oh, definitely. You could definitely tell too, the defense was going crazy. So we asked, we pretty much asked everyone who hops on about their favorite moments from the season. Mm -hmm. Maybe individual or as a I got mine easily. What's yours? The fourth down, uh, the or the goal line stop against Texas. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. All, yeah, that's, 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 that's like favorite. a legendary. All, play all four for that plays, game. literally all four plays, is my favorite moment of this whole season. <laughs> like I could go back and watch that every single day. Like yeah, Kip no. on that, Billy on that, Danny, me too. Like it was like that was that was. That I think was that's tough. really what defined our defense was mm -hmm. those four plays. I'm not gonna lie. Every time, every time. An offense got within like five yards to like the no, goal line. I was like, oh, it was like they would it. struggle. Was like, yes. They would struggle to Anytime get it. Anytime they got uh, offense got on the goal line, I was just be like, yeah, like they better kick the field goal. <laughs> but yeah. we never was stressed whenever a team would get in the goal line yeah, against nah. us, just because we, the way Coach V works and how much we rep it, we like all four plays besides the the very last play, we pretty much knew exactly what was going to happen. Mm. Um, the one Kip got, Kip shot that gap because he literally did it like ten times. The day before, yeah. like we worked that play on goal line, and same with my play. When I had a stuffed dude, I knew he was coming directly at me. That's why I met him in the backfield because mm -hmm. we practice it so much. Mm -hmm. So I just say that repetition is really what gets us there, and really the mentality too. Because really, when you get down there, it's just about who's more physical. Really, it's not about who has the better scheme or something like that. That's facts. So it's all, and even is. It's not always about the strength either. It's just exactly just like you said the mentality. Like it's the mentality. you can have all the strength in the world, but you don't got the mentality to unlock it. Then I it's agree. Like, it's, the, it's about that mentality. It's just waste of potential. What, what um coming from the Big Ten? What what do you think is the biggest difference that you <laughs> notice going to the Big Twelve? If um, any? I definitely say I feel like the Big Twelve is more like finesse. Like there's a lot of tricks, a lot of a lot more yeah. formations and stuff like that. I feel like mm -hmm. the Big Ten is a lot more traditional football. Downhill running, you see loaded boxes a lot. Like I feel like it's more traditional than yeah. like the Big Twelve is a little bit more, I don't know, like creative. Yeah, I feel that definitely with the coaching styles. And yeah, stuff. that's why I would say like offenses like Kansas. Like I think that kind of like oh, yeah, for me nah. describes like Big Twelve. <laughs> like Kansas, offense. yeah, motion every play, yeah, like, motion like, every play, crazy tricks, formations, like, like, quarterback, double quarterbacks, four two, exactly. Whatever. Nah. Track star quarterbacks. <laughs> what um, you were you were in the you said you were playing when Marvin Harrison had that that catch on y'all where he like yeah like yeah. contorted his leg and like yeah he like caught it like contorted his leg you definitely need to touched see that. it and if you saw like, you yeah it was it's, if I said if, if I you saw it you know right. what I'm yeah, talking about would. Uh, yeah I was actually in, <laughs> I was would. in the game yeah um yeah, it was crazy I mean we all knew he caught it really too. <laughs> we were saying it was not it wasn't even any like nah, like once <laughs> we saw the replay one time everyone you, you, kind of you had to hit that you had to hit that initially you had to initially everybody was like no 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 you saw that replay and then we saw the replay we kind of just put our head down. Yeah, it was, I'm not going to lie. It was bad. <laughs> That's all you could do, man. Yeah, it was That's bad. True, but it, it was dope to get to play teams like that. Like, as a freshman, too, just to being able to experience that. Like, teams like playing, like, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State. Like, yeah, that, that really, I feel like, helped shape me coming into the Big 12 with that experience. What do you think the best atmosphere you played in was in the Big 10? In the Big 10? Yeah. And Big 12, you can do it. Besides Texas, yeah, okay. Uh, for the Big Ten, I'd probably say that Ohio State game. Actually, it was, was like at, yeah, it was packed. Ohio it was at Ohio State. It was Ooh, packed yeah. out. Yeah, I definitely say Ohio State. And as for the Big Twelve, mm, favorite game atmosphere could it be a game I'll hurt for. Yeah, yeah. I say the West Virginia game. I feel like it was pretty packed out. I feel like that was a good one. 
the West Vegan. I you don't even remember. You don't Hears? remember? Yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The one, we, the we one was in here. the Unities. Oh, yeah, so we were in the Unity ones, yeah. and they did the light. Bro, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was good. The that lights, was like, I feel like, I feel like that was a dope one. I was hurt that game, but. Yeah, that was dope. I was hurt the last time we wore the Unities. I was sick. Yeah, no, nah, I was definitely sick when I learned we were wearing them that week. Yeah, I know how that feels. Is that yeah. why you, you got hawked? <laughs> oh, shoot. He loves bringing that up for some reason. <laughs> I mean, we this could is talk like about the, it. The charcoal we could talk about it. We could talk about it. Bit, we could talk about it. He was 20 yards in front of me when he saw me catch the ball, and he had a great angle. So I don't <laughs> want to hear it. wasn't the angle, though. It was, it the, was angle. the angle. I could have taken a better angle to like <laughs> make it harder on him, but... I did it. You think, so. yeah, yeah. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. It wasn't that I was running slow. Yeah. I agree. You be moving. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I try. So here you be, you play sort of like the cheetah S position. Mm -hmm. And at Indiana, you played more like an edge. Mm -hmm. How would you say that, that transition was? Uh, it was hard, definitely. Yeah, um, I can imagine. Yeah, it was so, definitely hard. Just going from not backpedaling for like a year and just like kind of blitzing off the edge and doing some different stuff like that. And then coming here to doing so much like 90% coverage and 10% of what I was doing at Indiana. Like it was like a big, it was just like a big switch. So, mm -hmm. you know, luckily throughout spring ball and everything, I got so much reps and a lot of repetition at it. And with a lot of the guys like Billy and we, we I mean, we had great DBs here to really help me fix that. So yeah, we really they got did. me tightened up during spring ball in the summer and fall camp. And uh, I think my growth was crazy from the, uh, from spring ball to the end of the season. Yeah, no, for sure. College football tees, college basketball tees, whatever you need, Mercury has you covered with the best merch out there. We're talking about high quality clothing, inexpensive, and the best part is I have a 15% discount for everybody who goes and gets some right now. Use the code below, hit the link in the description, and go get your merch now. Use the code to get 15% off. What are you waiting on? Go do it. Do you feel like going against? G Freaky and Drake Stoops. Oh, going to, yes, like I, I had to go against Drake so much when I first got here too. So having to go through that every single day, and I wasn't even someone who was uh, like really like a man, a man guy like that. So just being able to, when you're learning to play man, and it's against Drake, it's a little different. Definitely, it's a little bit more difficult, especially with somebody like him. But now nah, it was great for me. Guys like him and G Freak, like. I mean, that that's, gets me better. Like, that's literally what I needed at the time, too, yeah. to be able to perform in games. Mm -hmm. Y'all been seeing what Jake's been doing at the... Uh, Shrine Bowl? Yeah. Oh, like, I have seen all of them go crazy. crazy. I'm not surprised. Like, it's yeah, hard to real. guard him in one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. <laughs> People really don't like, like, realize. I'm speaking People are like, from experience. oh my gosh, but it's like, yeah, that's Drake. Like, literally, like, literally, I'm speaking from experience. Day, one -on -one. It is hard. It is hard to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. People really don't understand, like, how tough he... Like, even from the game, like just seeing him in practice, it's like, bro, how are you even like contorting your body like exactly. that? Exactly. Like, he be like, it's like switching all over the place. He, <laughs> even if you watch his film, like every time he's coming to, like across the middle, like, I don't know how he does it, but he just comes down with every single catch, no matter how like contested it is. Yeah, he's reliable. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely reliable. He's consistent. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. This is kind of this is kind of off topic, but oh, go ahead. You think but, you think Ravens would have won if Zay didn't fumble? Mm. No. Think about it though. Down three. Okay. Well, well, like, you can't. Like, well, well, everything would have been different though. Everything would have been different. Hit that, that field goal, you know, tie it up. We can we can keep talking hypotheticals <laughs> if you want to. And Ravens fans, you guys will be talking hypotheticals probably for the next three hundred and sixty-five days. <laughs> I mean, what while we're preparing for the Super Bowl. <laughs> You guys are talking hypotheticals. We're preparing for the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's okay man. though. Next sometimes, year, maybe. Sometimes, sometimes. Next year, next year, pretty, pretty good for a running back. Steelers, Steelers going in all next year though. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know, I don't know about happen. that one, but Bro, let, let me let, let me speak for the fans because I already know what they're gonna say in the comments. Oh my gosh, Deshaun sounds just like Kobe. No or does Kobe sound like Deshaun? Please don't say that. <laughs> oh hey, my I'm gosh. older than Kobe. Yeah, so does Kobe sound like me? So, really so like he got it from Pops. You. Yeah, it's like he got it from Pops on something. Okay, yeah, okay. If Kobe sounds like anyone, he sounds like, yeah. Come on. <laughs> we did just have one of the pop before. We did, did you? And one of the comments was like, he sounds just like Deshaun. Oh my God. <laughs> They're definitely going to be saying that, man. <laughs> well, that, that should be the, actually, well. We get to the end of the pod. <laughs> what? No, no, you said we'll like, get to we'll that get to in another pod. pod. What? Um, no, no, no. Where you guys? Good. Oh, I was just gonna ask. 
I don't want to kind of jump around here a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. Might as well keep jumping around. Let's yeah. do it. NCAA 24. Yes. When does that come out? July? Sometime in the summer. Oh, I heard I heard summer. That's ratings. What, Man. what do y'all think y'all's Man. ratings? Man, I'll let Nick I'll just first. speak first because my mine's gonna be like probably like a sixty, bro. Like, I'm gonna right. be I'm gonna be the the no I don't have but like I think a character model. I think they should I think they should you still give you great face. Great face is crazy. Nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be like it's gonna be like everybody else has like a picture like of them in their like uniform, and it's gonna be like a random like picture on Google. <laughs> like for you, you know, have like Google. high school recruiting. They definitely would do that. I know they're gonna do me dirty. Nah, what do you think your rating would be? I I think that's a good book. I don't think you'd be a. I don't base think sixty. I don't think like, be a sixty. Because like, be like they, they have to take into account that you're like fast, like you're faster than most, and like you're tall. So like they can't they just take, give you like, some stuff. They can't just give account. you a sixty. They give you a sixty if you're a five five, like in yeah, <laughs> two fifty. But for me, I think a cool seventy nine. I'll be happy. I, I, mean, bro, I, feel, I feel like they're gonna do you, you better. Gonna than do that. Like, you I feel like they're not. Better than that. I feel like they're not. I feel you're like one of our leading receivers. Yeah, I think, bro. yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Nah. I think you're gonna get eighty. Like eighty. How so many yards you have? Eight hundred, like around eight hundred. I had like seven hundred nine. Yeah, they got nice. But ten tuds though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gonna be you gonna be like <laughs> mid eighty something for sure. <laughs> mid eighty. I'm gonna, say like, I'm gonna say eighty four. What the speed gonna be? Though? That's my guess. Is eighty four. Eighty four. That's Nick not. Anderson. That's too high. That's too high. Definitely not. Uh, it's not too high. <laughs> that's um, good. Speed what? Eighty six. Eighty six speed. <laughs> I feel like that's like a tight end speed. Like. That is a tight end yeah. speed, bro. At least give me 90. They give 90 <laughs> At least 90. give me 90. I feel like you yeah. have 90. At least give me 90. <laughs> At least. You've had some breakaway plays. I feel like they would, they would be like, yeah, speed, yeah. Definitely. You have UCF about, type shit. What about you? Um, i give you a 83. i give myself somewhere in like, yeah, like I feel like that like low to mid 80. Coming out, something like that. Mid it's also like hard because you didn't play. Like, yeah, it's, all the yeah, it's hard. That's like me. Like I, I, I was, I, was, I got screwed in and out. Kind <laughs> but of, you still had, hard, you still I, had a solid season in Indiana. Yeah, I had a, I had a really good season at Indiana. So I, t- I'd say like mid eighty. I feel like, I feel like they low key gonna do me right on NCAA. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I might be like, I feel like I might be like a glitch as a user. <laughs> <laughs> like if you put me, because they might make me like I'm gonna try to push for six six in NCAA. So tight, and tight, then you tight. could like put me at like safety. Like you could really do some stuff. Yeah, with me. you could rock with me at NCAA. What's the speed I, look like though? Huh? What's the speed? speed? I don't think I've ever seen like really like run for real. Yeah, but I'd say pretty. <laughs> no, no, I say pretty. I say straight line. I say straight line speed is pretty good. I I give myself. I feel like they're gonna give me like a eighty seven. That's pretty high. I feel like they're gonna give me like an eighty seven. Yeah, that's all. That's all for sure. I feel like that's good. I feel like yeah. I feel Who like. Who do you that. think on the on our team would be a ninety and above? A ninety overall and above. I said Danny Billy. Stutzman. Billy Danny. Yeah, definitely Danny. And Danny would be like a ninety five. Billy, Billy would be mm. up there too. Billy, Billy's like a ninety something too. Billy All American. So yeah, nah, I definitely. mean, if you're on the All American list, you automatically in that nineties. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, it also, else? I don't know how they're gonna like do it. Like, it also depends how they're like if they're generously rating people or if it's like yeah. they're not telling how if they're gonna do it. Yeah, like how are they even gonna base? Heard, it? Like, what are they basing off of stats or like stats? What they see probably like the same type of stuff Madden do. What does Madden do? I don't know. They base it off of, like in game stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, I think uh, I think I heard that they were gonna do like um, mutt. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be, they that'd are be crazy. Going, they just have to, I saw they, the only thing that's taking them a while is they have to get four mutt. They have to get, because uh, they're going to be doing like legend cards or like players. So they have to like talk to like Cam Newton and like all the, like Tom Brady and mm-hmm. stuff to like get their approval for it. Mm. So what, that also goes into it. What do you think? It, did Tom Brady go crazy in Michigan? I don't know. I don't really I don't think know. so. I don't know. Would you, would you, like, would you, would you want him on your team? Yeah. I don't, I don't, think, so, team? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think you want Michigan Tom Brady on you. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. He was the last pick. They right? might they might just buff his stats up just because he's Tom yeah, Brady. Yeah, because he's Tom Brady. Yeah, probably. But I can see it. 
This is true. This is true. What um we also low key ask this to a lot of people like hopping on pod, but what going to SEC next year? Mm-hmm. What atmosphere are you most LSU? That's that's, yeah, that's the common answer. Yeah, yeah LSU, right. Death Valley for sure. It's, it's gonna be, be their senior night too. I'm pretty sure. You lying? Now nah, it's the last. It's still, it's gonna be their last home game. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. So it's probably gonna be at night. Nah, it's gonna Everybody be rocking. Gonna be yeah, it's gonna be rocking. I'm like, yeah. oh, wow, I'm not. If we win, I'm not coming back yeah, on the flight. <laughs> on the flight? <laughs> what you going to do, bro? Baton Rouge. You're trying to get Baton Rouge. Go crazy. Don't they have, like, some... Obviously, it's not. It's better than the corner, but it's, like, kind of corner, like, campus corner-esque. It's like a street. I remember uh-huh. Hammy was... They probably do have, like, a... You that's how most talk... universities are. Wait, what are you talking about? Bourbon Street? I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I think that's in... Isn't that in New Orleans? Oh, that might be it. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I think nah, that is cause, nah, cause, uh, Hammy was in New Orleans when uh, we were talking about that. True. But, um, we talked about this a little bit on the last part too, but do you have any hobbies? Uh, <laughs> and if you don't, that, that if you don't have any that come to mind, what are some that you like would like to learn or like to get into? Ooh. I want to get more. In, I want to get in like hunting and like I want. I want to do stuff like that. I don't know. It'll be T. It'll be T. I know. I've been talking to him about it. Yeah. He's been the one that's kind of been making me want to get into it too. <laughs> with how much he talks about it. So my Brandon Thompson, Thompson as well. So. Oh yeah, yeah. My bad. Brandon Thompson receiver. Oh yeah, Brandon Thompson. Let's get it clear. <laughs> Twenty two class, best class. I'd say ah, uh, that's the only one I can really say comes to mind right now. That is like hunting. I really want to. I, I want to pick that up. Mm. And the places I'm from, I feel like I like I should have already done that. You, you, you <laughs> could skin a deer. You skin a deer and stuff. I would. You would. Yeah, I would. You know the first deer you kill, you gotta like eat the eat the heart. Oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta eat like the heart. take a bite. Okay, out. like liver king. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like right as right as it dies, like like it's like, still beating. Still, it's so. be, it'll, I can rub the blood you across gotta, my chest first. Yeah, no, you got to rub it under your oh, eyes. Okay, under my eyes. On your forehead. On my forehead. Yeah. And then, okay, <laughs> I will do that then. I look you want to get into golf, but like, mm, my shoulders are too bad. Yeah, I feel like it would hurt my back. Like, I don't know. My shoulders I don't know, are too bad. Bro. I, don't know I, I, I feel like that. I could get into golf. I'm just lazy and I'm broke. Because, <laughs> man. And golf's a lot of time, too. Clubs, bro, be expensive. It's a lot of time going out golfing, too. Yeah, it take a whole day up. Yeah, it does. Some people love that though. That's true. Kobe That's true. loves it. Kobe, yeah. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe does. does uh, yeah, I would say golf or like like an instrument. Mm. Yeah, I'd say instrument. But I used to play the trumpet. Really, the trumpet? Yes. You was good, good, was good at the trumpet. I was pretty good at the trumpet. Mm. I was pretty good at the trumpet. When did you play? Like oh, when I was younger, probably like, like, like mm, probably like fifth through seventh. Was it a, was it just me Something or was like? like that? A like universal that. thing to like play the clarinet in like elementary or middle clarinet. school. I don't know uh, if I've ever played. The you clarinet. mean the recorder? I think you're talking about the recorder. Yeah, yeah the yeah, recorder. Definitely. Like, what's a clarinet? Little hot <laughs> cross <laughs> buzz. <laughs> what's a clarinet? What's the clarinet's the one like that Squidward a, plays. It has like the oh, the big bass yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about Sorry. that? <laughs> Not yet. Hot cross buns used to be my stuff. <laughs> hot cross buns. <laughs> pause. My bad. My bad. Pause. Keep going. Continue. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, dang, I was going to say something. You made me forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you spent um, middle school in L.A. Mm-hmm. How was that? Oh, it was a lot different. It's probably, like, my least favorite place I lived in. Just because mm-hmm. it was so different, honestly. It was so, like, fast-paced, and there was just so many people. It took, yeah. like, 45 minutes to drive, like, two miles. No, like, no. That's It was terrible. just, like, a lot going on. And kind of, a lot of people like it that are from there, which I get. But just not being from there, mm-hmm. like, it just wasn't really my type of vibe. But I love the people, though. Like mm-hmm. I love the people and like the obviously like the weather and all that. Oh, was the like, weather! Yeah. The sure. weather was definitely top tier compared to anywhere I live. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure. I went I went to uh, L.A. for a USC visit, but I don't, I didn't like it either. Yeah, especially uh, around USC is kind of like a weird spot too. It, nah, it's definitely it's like right next to the yeah, weather. it's right next to Compton. Mm-hmm. USC is borderline in it. Yeah, it's, it's I heard right. a, I heard a story. I don't know if it's a story or a rumor, but. Uh, that they were practicing outside on their field one day and somebody got hit with a stray bullet. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Not while I, was, I don't think so. Not while I was there. They, they have that crazy stuff. Bullet. I know about the one fake dude who like got that practice jersey and started practicing with them for a little bit. too. And he didn't I get caught until that. like he was catching punts or something like during like that period. Somebody like, did that at Oregon too. Oh, really? For real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
like it was a it was while I was getting recruited. Like oh wow. Yeah. Like we we went on the visit, we asked them about it. They were like, Yeah. Well, <laughs> it happened. It was yeah. <laughs> can't can't deny yeah. it. That is crazy how that stuff happens. Hold on. We mean someone got caught with a straight like a player? Ca- mm-hmm. Got caught with a straight bullet? Yeah, right? like got yeah. hit. Huh? I don't know if it's true. <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah, I don't like, know about that one. Right there. There's, there's a lot of. I mean, it's definitely that, possible. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be. No, it's possible. Like, like definitely. Like, like you see where they practice at. Like, I just feel like that would have made like. Yeah, moves. definitely. I see what you're saying. Now. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's uh, no way they could have I mean, kept that a secret. Bro. Maybe if it just like hit them with it though, like just I don't, like. I feel like they, if they. I feel like, like if like they the, wanted to, they could definitely sweep it under the rug. I, you'd have I to pay me a hell of a sweep that I got, I got shot with a bullet during practice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, my NIL. I know, son. My NIL might have been a little bit for you. That on the road, bro. I need that LeBron James Jr. NIL. <laughs> I literally not for real. I need me a pizza yeah, commercial. I need me an Apple commercial. I need all that. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Mr. Ali. Is that how he says us? Ali? Mm-hmm. Have you uh, have you guys talked a lot yet or not? not uh, really a couple I times. saw he was doing um uh indie, but you know I'm out right now. Yeah. But uh, I got to watch and I was over there. I liked what he was doing. It seemed like a lot of stuff that's gonna be really like useful for us. Like he was working on a lot of coverage stuff with him. Some different stuff we didn't do last year, just getting their footwork and stuff more right. I liked it what I saw with him doing. In a couple weeks I'll be able to start going through it more with him. Why are you out? Uh, I had a meniscus surgery. Am I tweaking? When did this I happen? I had knee surgery, January 4th. It wasn't like a big... It, yeah, it, it, was it wasn't like, like a huge a deal uh, they, or anything they took like it that. Up. Yeah, they took it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. they took it out. I had tore it the first time when I was 11, so this is my second time tearing it. Mm-hmm. So they were just taking it out at this point. Yeah, that's what they did with mine. Because it, was like, it wasn't like big enough, a big enough of a tear to like, for them not to repair it. So. But, they said, nah, I'll take it out. But... Uh, I guess we're getting how many weeks in uh, workouts are we like two? I think we're going on week three. It's like one and a half. We're going on week three. Yeah, this this is our third technical week, but we've had like a week and a half of. of, uh, Has there been any mid year guys that y'all have seen kind of stand out yet, or is it too early? Yes, my boy Jacob. Is that who you're talking about? Southlake. Yeah, I've heard about him. What's uh, he's been going last year? Why'd you do that to me, bro? Uh, I just learned wow. people's names, wow. bro. Why would you test What's me like that? that? Let me look it up. Because <laughs> I don't, I haven't really heard of him, bro. I heard him talking uh, about him. I heard all of them talking about him after that workout for some. For real? Yeah. He's going crazy. Last, I guess. After the last workout, I heard everyone talking about him. Damn. Yeah. I guess Dang, I don't even. Do I, you know, I can't even look up his Instagram because I don't know his last name. <laughs> so let me go to the roster. Hold on. Oh, this is crazy. This is a little insane. I don't remember his game. Is he from? Is he a walk on or a scholarship? I think he's. I think he's walk on. I don't remember his game in South Lake. But he, oh, might, he might as well have a. Oh yeah, I do actually. He might as well have a scholarship because I do vaguely remember seeing him on Twitter. He's really technical and he he gets in and out of his breaks really well, and he's like a hard worker. I haven't seen him slack off once. Like I haven't had to get on to him. So well, he's shown a lot of maturity for a, a young guy. I'm excited about the tight end room because I was – obviously, I wasn't doing Indy, but I was, like, walking through Indy, um, what was that, two days ago? Or when was that? Friday? Yeah. Yeah, Friday. But uh, we definitely got some depth, which is good. I see that. Yeah, it should be good, though, for sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me, bros, man. It's going to take me so long to try to – I don't right, even think there's a just, roster maybe that we just, have. Maybe don't find bros' name, man. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> Love you, Twin. When do we start coaching station? Huh? When do we start coaching station? I think not this week, but the next. Are you for real? Because they the coaches are done with recruiting Ooh, after this week, shoot. and they said they said they'd, they'd be back the week after. So it's about to get wicked, bro. It is about to get wicked, man. It's about to get. Were you were you here last winter? Yep. Uh, I was, man. I won't be, yeah, I'm probably going to be back come uh, coaching stations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's probably around the time I start to be coming back. Ah. Ah. I get that to the war in uh, Yeah, man. And tire flips. I heard we're doing tire flips. Probably. The little. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Do I don't that. like those, bro. 
I've it'd be ba- it'd be bouncing around too much it? for me. Yeah, it. especially when there's no weight on it because like mm. they took the weights off for Saturday. Oh. Actually, two of them had no weights and one of them had weights. I felt bad for the people who were going on that one, but they got stuck. You with didn't want to so. switch. Nah, we started going, so I was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's too late. It's too late at that point. I feel you. (laughs) you I was going to ask a question. You made me forget, bro. Oh, my bad. You want to play a game while you remember? Go for it, bro. (laughs) Let me think. So you just didn't, you just asked to play a game. You didn't have a game. Yeah, but I'm stalling so you can think of your questions. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, you're critiquing me. I'm trying to help this dude. Just lock in real quick. Hmm. Uh, we could play that rating game again. Oh, I was gonna say, what was the most difficult? I don't know why it's so difficult like that. What was the most difficult uh part of like transitioning here from Indiana? Like, think, cause how how far? Twelve hours. Just twelve hours. Mm-hmm. How far mm-hmm. was? Um, wait, no. I guess you're technically like from Indiana. Yeah. Okay, so that was like back home. So yeah. was, uh, you wouldn't say like the distance from my family is, is hard or? Uh, not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I wouldn't say so. Maybe it's just because of the amount, like I've moved around and I feel like I just do an easier job like adapting. Yeah. So I, it really wasn't like that big. I, I say the biggest adjustment was probably like maybe like the workouts and stuff like that. Like we did more harder? speed, like oh. more speed and change of direction kind of was our main focus at Indiana. Here's like powerlifting. And stuff like that, like a lot more. That's stuff, Schmitty's yeah. mentality for sure. I heard that um, uh, the strength coach before, what was his name? Wiley. Yeah, Wiley. <laughs> I heard that Wiley was more of like the speed type. Yeah, he sounded, when they explained him, that kind of sounded like what we had at Indiana. Yeah. No, nah, definitely. Were you, did you play in a bowl game? No. No? Nah. Uh. Um, this is my first bowl game this year. Yeah, I was going to say, your first bowl yeah, game, first bowl though. Game. How, how was that experience? Uh, it was cool. I experienced a lot of bowl. It was my first one as a player. I experienced a lot as, like, a kid because, you know, just with my dad and everything. But it was a cool, I mean, being here for, like, a week. Uh, I kind of already knew what it was going to be like. But, I mean, it was dope like just to kind of be with the guys and, yeah. you know, being able to go out and eat. Like, you know, it's just, I mean, I, I like the vibes in San Antonio, especially where we were at. With the uh, river walk and everything like that, I like the setup there. Yeah, that was dope. I like the food. The food's good. Yeah, I look key. Was good. I high key liked Orlando better, but it is Orlando, so it's like I don't. I don't like the bowl. Like I liked the I Alamo like Bowl like, like game better, Antonio. but I liked Orlando as a location better. Honestly, what is personal? What do we do? What do we do in Orlando? <clears throat> uh, we went to was that Disney World? Not Disney World. Not Disney World. I don't know why I said that. Universal. Yeah, Universal. But that was like, besides then, that. What else did we do, bro? I don't know. It was just the scenery, just Orlando in general. That was I just, your vibe. I just, it, was, it was my vibe more. The hotel, I liked better. I, I can't even remember what the hotel looked like. Well, I remember. Oh, I remember now. I remember now. <laughs> it was a weird hotel. I don't know. I didn't like it. Now that I think about it. And it was, a, it was next to a golf course. It had a weird vibe. There's a lot of old people there. The Orlando. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they need to find a way to like let us have Christmas with our families, bro. bro like I don't know how yes. I don't know how they made I, it possible, bro. but like it's my second Christmas in a row that I haven't been home. It was my first. Uh, bad. Well, it's gonna, probably gonna be man. man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man. yeah, yeah it's honest. probably gonna be <laughs> it's all good. Shoot. Yeah, I know it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> with your dad being a coach and like you know day, you know, obviously playing football. Um, is it like is it hard to get the whole family together or yeah it actually is like now like especially right now like days at louisville i'm here my dad's at notre dame my older brother lives in cleveland so it's just hard to kind of get us all together especially with it being in the same sport too so it's not like uh oh yeah i'll go to your game on saturday or yeah. something like that like we really can't even do that so yeah it, everybody's it can get difficult. in the fall yeah, it definitely is. Probably hardest on my mom to try to catch Notre Dame, Louisville, and Oklahoma. So I don't know how she's going to do that on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. insane. Yeah. I don't have to get the, yeah. the YouTube TV <laughs> put on, yeah. up on the <laughs> little corners of the screen. It's my parents used to have to, um, like, split up to go to my brother's games because they would be playing, like, on the same Saturday. Like, one mm-hmm. at Ole Miss and one at That's how she got our bowl game. She yeah. flew in to San Antonio 
the day of our game and then flew back to El Paso, which was um, where Notre Dame was playing on the 29th, the day after us to see mm. their game too. Mm. So a lot of back and forth flights you got going on. I couldn't do all those flights. I yeah, hate it's flights. a lot. If I don't have the exit row, I need I'm, the exit row. I need my legs out. <laughs> I'm tweaking. You got you gonna catch me sticking my legs out like this in the aisle. Nah, uh, definitely. That's having, just... having them run the car to two while I'm sleeping. <laughs> hey, people like you. But um, yeah. This is gonna be a shorter podcast just because we got the. I know the Lions are already playing. I don't know Man, the score. Yeah, I'm gonna catch. Yeah, I'm gonna catch that one too. I don't know the score. Who you but, got? Uh, like, so I got a lot of friends on the team. Uh, like Andrell, or Reggie Pearson, who left, that are from Sears, that are from Michigan. Detroit, right? yeah. So I'm really going to hold it down for Flint, Detroit, and all of them. Ooh, I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to go with the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, huh? It's 14-0 Lions right now. First and I'm going to go with the Lions. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I'm not even going to add any comments because anytime I say something it just yeah you did jinx you, he jinxed. jinxed the OSU BYU game bro like I'm talking about bad. it was wow. complete opposite of what he predicted bro. yeah it was real bad <laughs> I went into detail and everything I said was the exact opposite well, yeah, we got, what, was this for the first quarter yeah first oh yeah quarter. we gotta catch that yeah but uh to end yeah. it off yeah but do you have any questions have any for any us? questions for us? We always ask. I don't. Y'all are my, I mean, I talk to y'all like every day. Y'all are my boys for real. So sure I appreciate y'all for finally having me on. They've been fake for about over a month now. That's crazy. So nah, bro. I'm glad I finally got the invite. You just got to <laughs> RSVP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got to. I try You got to go to the Google Doc. <laughs> I try yeah, to. I'm not trying to throw anyone over the bus, but one of these two, I won't say specific names, uh, asked me to be on the podcast. I said, yes, um, <laughs> I will be. And then I never heard from him no, again. So. No, no. That's, no, that's you not gonna be on the podcast happened. this Sunday. That's yes. not what happened. Because then never heard from him again. So. He said yes, and then, and then, when, I and then, and then when the podcast, the podcast and then, and then when the something. podcast happened, what what did you say? When the podcast happened, I came. I had rehab. Oh yeah, I did have rehab. I had rehab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I he's talking about one. He's talking about one specific day. I had rehab. <laughs> that's the day. Right, that was the day we were supposed to shoot it. It was one day. We could have pushed it back. We could have did something. Anyway, okay, Red Dirt <laughs> fam. If you stayed to the end of this video, please comment. He sounds so much like Kobe. Oh, don't do <laughs> yes. that. Don't do it. Please, no. please just comment something like that. <laughs> comment, please, no. <laughs> if you stayed to the end, as always, uh, thank y'all for listening. Thank you, Mister Desan, for hopping on. Of course, you gonna catch this NFL game right now. The uh, uh, Lions are winning, but. We'll see in the future what happens. Uh, yeah, thank y'all. Boomer soon. Boomer. What's up, Red Dirt fam? We have some very exciting news for y'all. February 17th, Red Dirt Media will be hosting a special event at Noun Hotel. It will be me and Nick accompanied by 10 or so of our teammates. There's going to be dinner, drinks, player interactions, interviews. It's going to start at 6 p.m. and all the tickets are limited, so make sure you go check it out. Boomer.